hello folks welcome to yardy belly's kitchen and as you can see today we're cooking tin mackerel or if you're in america you'd say canned mackerel or in jamaica we say dirty gal today we're gonna be cooking original jamaican tin mackerel yes yardy belly is touching one of the classics what we call poor man food in jamaica and of course i know you're gonna be interested in this one a uh, very simple recipe and we are planning to do um, our best to highlight uh, it in its, its as, as original as we can. Alright, so we have some onions. I'm using jalapeno peppers today because I have it. Just because I have it, I'm going to use it um, instead of the regular scotch bonnet. But of course, scotch bonnet is the number one favorite, the pepper to use when you're doing um, tin mackerel. Garlic. We have some thyme. Our thyme. And we have um, onion, um, green onion or escalion. I'm using Grace Jack Mackerel. And trust me, if you have never had this before, you're missing out on a whole lot of flavor and niceness. All right. And of course, I have, I have salt and pepper and my seasoning. I have a little bit of tomato, ketchup and oil. It's as simple as that, ladies and gentlemen. Now, mackerel is something that we cook as poor people food in Jamaica. But you can always spice it up. You can add different stuff to it. You can add cucumbers to it. Um, you can add uh, butter bean to it. And, you know, the list goes on and on. Hey, join us in the kitchen as we prepare tin mackerel, our original Jamaican dirty gal. So here we are folks, I've already gone ahead and put uh, about two tablespoons of uh, uh, cooking oil to my saute pan and we're getting ready to do our tin mackerel or if you're Jamaican, you know it as dirty gal. All right, so the first thing we want to do is we want to add our garlic to the oil. Now, the most important thing is to not let the garlic burn. Here is the garlic and I have a little bit of time our thyme right there my wife always correct me with the H's so we add our garlic and we want our garlic to just start to release flavor we want it to just start getting to that place where you know we can start adding the rest of ingredients all right we can add the thyme as well <laughs> uh, it's, uh, And before the garlic starts to do anything, we're going to add just add the rest of our ingredients, alright? I'm putting jalapeno peppers in because, as I said, I'm using jalapeno peppers instead of the regular scotch bonnet peppers, alright? And we're adding in our onions. Now, of course, in your neck of the woods, you, you can do it your way, you know, uh, any way that makes you comfortable, that's the way we're going to do it. All right, and see my garlic is getting brown. I don't want it to burn. The fire is a little bit hot, you know, uh, but we're getting there. All right, it won't it won't spoil or anything. All right, what we're gonna do is just go ahead and put our mackerel in. And we're using, as I said before, a can of Grace Jack mackerel. It's the big one. And of course, it means therefore we're gonna have to, you know, make it work. All right, jack mackerel is nice because it basically uh, allows you to to work with it in a more flexible way, you know, than the little small tins of mackerel. All right. Now, this is what is gonna have to happen that we break the mackerel up, but I usually wait a little bit and allow it to. Uh, as it were, get a little bit more flavor, cook a little bit in the in the in the pot before I break it up, so that it don't mince out. All right. To the can. If you're a Jamaican, you know to do this. To the can of uh, the empty can, you just add some water and add it to the pot. All right. And pretty much you're just gonna allow this to just simmer you know and to the flavors to start to develop um, I'm using a lot of onions don't it 
but I like the onions it's uh, white onions so it's not as harsh as the yellow onions and uh, you know it brings gives nice flavor to the mackerel now what I'm gonna do is try to quarter these mackerel just open them up and get them quartered again your you might want to use the small tins of mackerel um, and if you do then it may come you know small enough for it to be you know uh, enough for you to to have as a meal but for the, the jack mackerel it's usually bigger and much more heartier fish that they use and so you quarter it up just so that it serves all right now if you're Jamaican this is just the beginning of what you want to do with it I mean you can have it just as it is here um, I'm gonna add my pepper and my salt of course but we as Jamaican have to add more stuff all right so this is where you add your tomatoes I didn't put this in before but uh, my wife he corrected me on that so I I have maybe a small uh, plummy, plummy tomato you can add and then you add your green onions all right and this is the basic um, musical oh please this is the basic recipe for uh, mackerel um, in Jamaica if you are if you're working hard and you come home and you are one of the, the the persons who love mackerel this is where you would start to think about locking off your um, turning off the stove and stuff all right um, this is the basic mackerel again you can add whatever you want to spruce this up your way all right it is doing its thing as a matter of fact for many persons it the stove would have been off already I'm telling you the truth all right but I like the redness of it so I'm gonna add some ketchup just to you know give it a little bit more body and get it a little bit redder for flavor I'm gonna add a little bit of seasoning salt um, with this seasoning salt I might not add any salt at all all right is, is seasoning salt see there? Season all seasoning salt. Tell me what it is. Seasoned salt. It's different from seasoning salt. Seasoning salt is MSG. This is salt that has been flavored with other spices and stuff. Oh. So we don't use MSG. So don't do not. Oh, sorry, ladies people. and gentlemen, is seasoned. Seasoned, say, seasoned, seasoned salt. Seasoned salt, not mm -hmm. seasoning salt. But we are Jamaican, so we say seasoning salt. <laughs> and of course I'm gonna put some fresh cracked black pepper now the reason why I used jalapenos instead of my regular scotch bonnet was because I wanted to just explore different flavoring options in, in my own neighborhood and I'm in Miami so you know it's it's uh, jalapenos are everywhere all right the Spanish uh, influences that we have here you know jalapenos are a staple here all right so I just thought to myself why not use what we have in our local neighborhood and spruce it up that's the whole thing behind yardy belly in a foreign anyway to use what is available in the in your neck of the woods and to make a dish out of it all right and the last thing I'm gonna add to this is a little bit of butter No, the wife you don't really like the butter. She don't like when I use the butter. But I'm gonna use it. And this is like Jamaican, what we call best butter in Jamaica. You know? Marjorie. <laughs> oh Lord. Help me with the the, 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 the right um, words to use. Alright, margarine. Alright. And what margarine does is just uh, create a nice sheen and helps with the the thickening of the, the dish you know make it silky and stuff so folks I can tell you this that if you were in my home right now your mouth will be salivating simple dish poor man's food as we call it in Jamaica this is what is called original Jamaican dirty gal all right now that you know the reason why it's called dirty gal let me give you if you don't know it's because of the the fact that it's it's in tomato um um tomato paste or tomato juice yeah whatever all right now we're gonna pair this up with 
original ground provisions Jamaican food, dumpling, white yam, banana and what else you put in it? Sweet potato, dashin Oh lord, oh lord, oh lord Yellow and white yam Hallelujah, glory yeah, and dumpling of course. And so ladies and gentlemen, I will show you a plate when we finally get it plated. If it lasts that long. And from there, you know, you will get a chance to try that in your neck of the woods. Again, original Jamaican dirty girl. Tin mackerel. Uh, cook. So here we have it folks. The finished dish. My tin mackerel our dirty gal and here you see a plate that's my dinner you know full of crown provision dumpling and yam and banana and stuff and uh i do hope that you will try this one for yourself you know um this is real yardy food this is real jamaican food you know and you don't have to be shy you know if you love tin mackerel you love tin mackerel but this is my dinner for today you know my tin mackerel or dirty girl with ground provisions yeah the belly kitchen try it on your own add whatever you want to make it your own meal and make sure that you go ahead and have this one in your neck of the woods once again be blessed and hey enough 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 cooking